Spirit of God. Understanding the telepathic communication of angels. Angels, they communicate via the mind. They communicate via the mind. That's why the Lord was saying that you're going to prosper. That means financial prosperity, money, materialistic possessions. And be in health, that's your physical body, even as your soul prospers. Because your soul is mainly your mind. Yes, the will is in your soul. Yes, the emotions is in your soul. But all of those are subject to your mind. So you cannot move with prosperity angels if telepathically you are ignorant, arrogant, or lacking diligence. You see what I'm saying? So they can't fulfill their ministry if your mind not right. No angel in your life can fulfill their assignment if your mind has garbage in it. That's why the Bible says forgive because forgiveness shifts your focus off of negativity. Negativity is the atmosphere that demons use to suffocate right decisions. Negativity suffocates right decisions. Negativity is the parasite of excellence. It sucks out the all for productivity, for diligence, for focus. Telepathically, your soul has to be full of the word for angels to link up with you. They can do nothing in your life that's a part of your inheritance if your mind is not full of the Bible. You must know what the text says. And your mind must learn how to rethink scriptures. Meditation is the constant replaying of supernatural words, divine words, Holy Spirit words, the words I speak to your spirit in life. It is the replaying, the revisiting, the re-saying, the restoring of the words of God. Meditation is found in Joshua 1 8. You shall not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Why you are not supposed to let the book of the law depart from your mouth? Because when your mouth speaks things, it frames a pattern of thinking. So Satan said, if you be the son of God, turn this stone into bread. Jesus does not entertain the thought and say, I can prove myself I got power. Oh, you trying to disrespect me? Jesus says, man shall not live by bread alone, which is a scripture I believe in Deuteronomy chapter 8. I think verse 3 or somewhere in Deuteronomy 8, I believe. And he quotes Deuteronomy and he kills the thought the opportunity, the decision to telepathically link up with evil spirits. When he speaks the word of God in Deuteronomy, he releases angels of deliverance. That's why after he was tempted, the Bible said the angel came and ministered to Jesus.
Why are they able to minister to him? Because telepathically, he has linked up with them through the word. Saints, if you learn how to move with the word of God, you'll link up with angels that you didn't even know existed. Because the more you speak the word, the more ain't. How do you think that I was able to discover yesterday the angel of love and kindness from Psalm 42? The word discovered to my my soul, the angel of love and kindness. I talked about the demon of the sweat of the brow. How, how do you find that out? Nobody has ever preached that. Mind you, there has not been one person on the earth that ever preached that the sweat of the brow was an actual demon spirit's name. That tall is a name of a demon. Telepathically, me and Arrhenius, we communicate via this ancient wisdom and ancient knowledge of the Lord. Colossians says in him. I'm going to say it like this. In me. Is all the hidden treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Colossians. Matthew 4.11. Then the devil left him and angels came and ministered to him. Matthew chapter four, verse 11. Why does the devil leave him? Because telepathically, the devil does not have access to his mind. They're not thinking the same thoughts. What fellowship does light have with darkness? So Jesus is the light. Darkness is speaking. It cannot fellowship. There's no ship where they can become fellows. There's no ship where partnership can take place, covenant can take place, agreement can take place. Because Jesus' mind refuses the mindset that's being presented to him. If you're going to walk and live a Jesus life, you're going to have to disrespect thoughts that are given to you as options. You got to say no. Nobody going to say no for you. You got to stand up. You got to decree a thing. You got to fight the good fight of faith. It's all on you. It's not on nobody. It's not on no deal. It's all on you. Jesus decided you are not going to have my mind even contemplate something that's not supposed to be on my plate. And that's a wisdom door. Don't contemplate what God did not put on your plate. The word of God said that you can't eat from the, 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 the table of devils and the table of the Lord. Telepathically. The devil can't link up with Jesus. Now, I want you to see this mentally. I want you to see this. The Bible in all the texts referred to him as the devil and not Satan. Why is that? I'm about to give you a revelation here that you never heard before. The reason why it says that the devil left him because in the realm of the devil, 
If you take the D out, you get the word evil. In the realm of devil, that name of the wicked one, that name signifies that he will present opposite directions from the direction that God has already originally given to you. When you encounter the devil, you're going to encounter an aggressive attempt to introduce you to other methods. The devil is the realm of God's enemy where you will have continual mentorship, recruiting, because you're going to be recruited. The devil is where you are recruited to go contrary to the way that God wants you to go. The devil is what caused that young prophet to die prematurely by that line in, in Kings chapter 13. Because the Lord had already told him, don't eat or drink. The devil is what opposed him and had him go opposite to the instruction that was originally given. See, you got to know who you fighting against. Some seasons you fight in Satan. Satan is the realm of reports. It's dark sayings. Say, tan, say, tan. It's a tan. A tan makes you become darker. And his, his name, say, tan. If you don't look at the spelling, if you listen to the verbiage, you'll see that it is a saying that makes you dark. Meaning makes you corrupt. That's why the word of God said, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. In the book of Ephesians, but that which is good, that it may impart grace to the hearer and grieve not the Holy Spirit by which you were sealed for the day of redemption. That's the realm of Satan, the corrupting of words. Conversations that create wrong philosophy, wrong Motives, wrong mentality. If you listen to someone and you become more bitter, more, more unforgiving, more carnal, more stubborn, hard-hearted, rebellious. That's the realm of Satan. The devil present the options. But Satan will constantly train you to become corrupt because you're hearing something so much that now you'll believe that it's true. Satan come to tattoo falsehood. You got cancer, you got cancer, you got cancer. Now, now all that's in your mind, I got cancer, I got cancer, I got cancer. Satan come to penetrate with bad reports. Satan will keep on telling you what's in your bank account. You know, you can't obey God, you know. You can't do what God tell you to do, right? You know you're only going to make this amount, huh? You know, say, it's the sayings that give you a tan. 
it darkens your atmosphere, your mood, your expectation, and hope deferred occurs. You become sick in your heart. Satan. Satan. Telepathically, when you have the revelation about prosperity, prosperity angels are no longer hindered. They can minister for you and prosper your way, like Joshua 1.8 says. But it done gave you the protocol of how to birth this. Don't let the book of the law depart from your mouth. That means you got to prophesy the word. Somebody remember that. You have an anointing to prophesy the word over yourself in the now as if it's happening to you. Psalm chapter five, verse 12 says, the favor of the Lord surrounds the righteous as with a shield. Here's how you prophesy the word. The favor of God is shielding me. I'm surrounded by the favor of God as a shield. As I'm doing this, the angels of favor are now encamping around me. And so wherever I go, people are going to like me. And they're going to be moved to show royal treatment to me. I told you a lot of times a man will be walking with his woman. He'll, he'll let the door hit his woman, the woman. And he a straight man. He all oh man, he ain't got no uh, Bojangles, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way moving through him. He ain't got no Elton John, no none, none of that. All right. Um, it's a beautiful day. All right. So, um, but the door just smack her right in the face. And I, I don't apologize on that, none. I don't see if she okay or nothing, none. I'm not looking to see if her nose broke. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about knowing that because, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they got nosy problems, so they, they bow. The nose broke. That was a divine signal. It was judgment. It was judgment. See, God, it was judgment. It, the, what got broke was what was in operation all along, so he got broken nose, and that's why, you know, see, and, uh, and so, yeah, and, and, but the reason why stuff like that happen, because angels are favor around you. It'll make people be kind to you. I know people in business that if I show up to them, they tell all their workers, he here, whatever he tell you to do, just do. Follow, follow him. Because the favor angels, they spoke to that man's mind before I got in the building and told him when he shows up, whatever he tells you to do, do it. The same way Mary went go tell the servants. See, she was functioning like an angel. See, when you start moving with your angel, you'll become an angel in your own functionality. Meaning that love You'll become a spirit being. You're no longer fleshly. Getting jealous of people. Oh, why they get theirs first? See, you in the flesh. Give you a P. Give you an E. A TT. I ain't say a titty. I say a TT. You got to listen to me. I know it's late. Give you a Y. What that spells? Petty. Uh-huh. That's what happens when you're not in the spirit. You get petty. But you imagine when you move in with the angels of favor, they are telepathically pitting ideas in people's mind of how they should respond to your presence when you're there. So look what the word of God says. Luke 252, Jesus increased in wisdom and in uh, stature and in favor with God and with men.
Now, wisdom and stature increase. What does this signify? Stature represent growth, appearance. It represents levels of maturity. In the spirit realm, stature means that you're growing mentally. The word is taking you over more. You're becoming more uh, um, led by the spirit underneath divine composure, self-control, fruits of the Holy Spirit being birthed in you. So when it said that he increased his stature, the stature means that the wisdom actually provoked him into a new, new level of maturity. So this is why Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That's the stature moving. That was the increase of stature at work. When Jesus was teaching them, if you have art against anyone, forgive. That's the increase of stature at work. Now, the wisdom is where he told them, I, I'm sending you out. Don't take no purse. Don't take no script. Don't take no sandals, no nothing. Well, that's the wisdom. That's the direction power of God. Think about that. There's the power of God for direction. So you can't be confused because confusion is a satanic power. And where does confusion operate? Through your mind. So the demon of confusion will telepathically saturate your mind with the turmoil and the chaos in which that spirit operates in. Now the spirit of... Saints, I'm telling you, you know what's so wild to me? And I can do this because I'm in a flow with God right now. I'm in that same stream. I hear God using my voice to say things. I'm going to tell you how I teach sometimes. Sometimes I get to a zone where I'm hearing my own voice say things, echo in the back. And so then I speak it to you. But I'm hearing myself say it. Like this next sentence I'm about to say, I'm, I heard that a minute ago. Or like probably like 45 seconds ago. I heard that in the back. So I'm talking on something else and then the Holy Spirit keep that strong echoing and then I speak that. That's why Jesus was saying that which you hear in the ear, that's what you preach on the housetop. That which you hear in the ear. Who's speaking in the ear? God used the voice of Eli to talk to Samuel. So Samuel kept going to Eli. Eli, you call me? No. Eli, you call me? No. So I hear myself talking in the back. I hear Eli, Prophet Joshua Holmes. El... L, L, Joshua Holmes. Here's, here's what I heard in my ear, which is the voice of God talking to me for you to hear something fresh from the libraries of heaven. Because Arrhenius is here and we charged up in here. Ay, 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 ay. Mephibosheth just came right here. So I'm dealing with prosperity right now. La Copele Sica. Ah, yeah, yeah. So. The angels, the demonic angels of confusion were not always confusion. They became confused when they disrespected the clarity that they once were. Here's what the spirit of the Lord said. The spirits of confusion, their original state was spirits of clarity. 
their job in heaven was to explain and bring clarity concerning the assignment that God was given to other angels. Now you know why the Bible said that they left their original habitation, their original state. So they became opposite to what they were before. The angels, the demonic angels, here's what the, the Spirit of the Lord is saying. The demonic angels of lust were originally angels of love. So they became something contrary. That's why a man will sleep with you and not worry about it if you ate. Because lust don't care about your belly. Lust just care about your body. Ah, ah. The demons of lust were originally the, the angels of love. The demons of sickness, here's what the Spirit of the Lord said, were originally... Originally, the angels of healing, they left their original estate of being a healing angel to be sickness. That's why they contradict what healing angels do now. And they, they pattern your mind telepathically to go against the instruction that God will give you for your health because they once were healing angels. So they are experts in how healing, healing operates. So they'll say, uh, eat this, drink this, uh, sleep like this. Don't, don't, don't take care of yourself. Like follow the pattern of your, 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 your parents, your guardians before you. Do the same thing they did. And, and telepathically, that sickness angel, which is a demonic angel, is training you how to stay sick. Seed blocking demons were once sowing angels. That's why they are experts in how to block the seed. Because they know that that's what the Father loves. So they, seed blocking demons introduce you into wrong spending and they arouse an appetite in you. So that you can take the money that you're supposed to offer up to God into investing into something that's going to bring you current temporary pleasure, but futuristic burden, futuristic debt. The, he, he, oh my gosh. Here's what um I gotta see who's talking to me right now. Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth just told me this. He said that the strong man demon was once a guardian over the treasury of heaven. That's why the strong man is now taking the goods that belongs to a, a believer, their inheritance, and locking it up. 
Because that's what that strong man used to do for God. And now I'm going to say this in the rawest place. If God got this done to him in heaven, don't think that us God's not going to have this be done to us on the earth. People that have original functionalities will leave their functionality to become something opposite to what they was anointed to be for. Technically, I shouldn't really be teaching like this because I've been up for over 24 hours. Technically, with no sleep, I shouldn't really be at this. But see, I'm at spiritual. I'm in spiritual matter, substance. I stepped into the being. The glory chamber of the father. God is light. Why? Because the father is light. He, he's a chamber. He's a father of light. He's, he, he's a chamber. So, so, so Jesus proceeded out of the father and we see a physical body. And so Jesus said, he that sees me sees the father. Because he represents the visibility, the body, the image. Saints, how long I've been teaching today? No notes. All of this is in my spirit. <sighs> this thing crazy, man. This thing crazy. This thing crazy. This thing crazy. The Lord is revealing to us that the angels that the demons that are now in their current assignment as satanic agents and principalities they are opposite to what they were in heaven so seed blocking demons were sowing angels they were in the line they they saw the minister of finances they know who he is and they know when he comes on a child of God's life that your finance is about to take off. Even if the government, even if the IRS, it don't matter, it don't matter who holding you up and trying to fight you. When the minister of finances come, he got access to all of the briefcase, the treasury, the gold, the silver in heaven, all the coins, all the transactions, all the currency. They know how the minister of finances roll. That's why they don't want no child of God to access the minister of finances. That's why they have you disconnect from an apostle. Because the apostle of God, a true apostle, going to introduce you to the angels and the ministering spirits that's going to correspond with the inheritance that's manifesting for you on the earth. I just heard the Holy Spirit said, receive the angel of benefits this week. I ain't never heard this before. He said, receive the angel of benefits this week. Because he said, I daily load you with benefits. There's an angel bringing those benefits. I received the angel of benefits all this week from the kingdom of heaven. And, and say this, I am loaded with benefits. God is loading me with benefits. I receive loads of benefits right now manifested in my life. Loads of benefits. I receive the angels of benefits from the kingdom of heaven. Angels are handing benefits to me right now. Your mind got to get more into the word, more into praying in tongues. 
so that you could receive more angelic activity because angels can't move when your mind is contrary to them. Now you see how your mind can, can stop your angel. Okay, Daniel is brilliant, right? So why does he go on this 21-day fast? His mind needs to go to another level. You see what I'm saying? His angel is stuck there. The level that Daniel is at mentally cannot overthrow the Prince of Persia. So his, his level got to go to the next place. So he fully disciplined, fully focused, fully in the Holy Ghost. And now Michael comes. His mentality is synchronizing and attracting Michael. Wow, wow, wow. And I reveal to you in this generation that Michael is an angel of order. And when the order is broken, that's when he fights. Why would angel, listen, why would Michael be in heaven as an angel of war and there's no war? So that means that Michael wasn't doing nothing. No, he's an angel of order. He been functioning. He wasn't warring with nobody. So all them years he was created, what is he doing? Just, ah, oh, Jesus. Jesus, are you here for me? Oh, there's no war yet. All right, Jesus. Oh, all right, they're twinkling my fingers. They're twinkling my fingers. I just twinkling my fingers until. No, 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 they're Michael and his angels. All my angels, come on over here. We're just twinkling our fingers together. Just waiting for Jesus to give us a call. Jesus, do you need us to fight? No? All right, I'm going to sleep, Jesus. I'm going to take a nap. Is that all right? Take a nap? I'm a little bored over here. Is it all right if I take a little nap? This is powerful what I just said. Daniel's mind attracted Michael. His mind was in the order of Archangel. Telepathically, Michael had permission because of Daniel's mental position. Man, I, 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 I